Out there in the cold, silent dark a lone traveler journeys onward. It is a machine, Voyager 1, a creation of human hands, now something more. A sentinel, a pioneer, a ghost from a world it can never see again. For nearly 50 years it has sailed the cosmic ocean. The stars around it are distant, unfamiliar suns. Voyager 1 is utterly, completely alone, a tiny craft against the infinite canvas of space. It carries the dreams and hopes of a small blue world. Now it drifts in interstellar space having crossed a boundary no human creation had ever crossed before. Its journey is not over, it will drift through the Milky Way long after we are gone. Voyager 1 The Lonely Sentinel sails on. Imagine a distance so vast it defies comprehension, over 15 billion miles. That's how far Voyager 1 is from home, light takes over 22 hours to cross that gap. A message sent from Earth today won't reach Voyager until tomorrow. Giant radio antennas strain to catch faint whispers from the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1, built for five years, now journeys into the great unknown. A small piece of humanity, hurtling toward eternity, our whisper across the void. Every great journey faces its twilight. For Voyager 1 that twilight is a slow, calculated decline. Its power comes from a nuclear battery, steady for decades but now fading as its fuel decays. The engineers who manage the mission must decide what to sacrifice to keep the spacecraft alive. It's a delicate balancing act, powering instruments, heaters and the transmitter as the energy dwindles. Heaters are turned off first, exposing instruments to the deep cold of interstellar space, nearly absolute zero. It's a risk, but a necessary gamble to save precious watts for science. This is a slow, methodical retreat, not a sudden failure, but a managed decline. The engineers call it, the big chill, stretching every last drop of energy, rerouting circuits, fighting for one more day of data. It's a race against the inevitable, a battle against the laws of physics. They are the caretakers of a legend, refusing to let it go quietly. This slow fading is a powerful metaphor, mirroring our own lives, the gradual loss of energy, the need to choose what matters most. Voyager 1 teaches us resilience, making the most of the time we have left. It's a story of grace under pressure, of continuing the mission until the very last moment. The light may be fading but the journey and the spirit behind it continues to shine. Voyager's endurance is a beacon of human ingenuity. Even as systems shut down its legacy grows, the mission's twilight is a lesson in perseverance. The fading light is not the end, but a transformation. Voyager's journey continues even as its power wanes. Each shutdown is a small death, a quiet moment of loss. The team sends a final command, a string of code that travels for hours across space, telling an instrument to sleep forever. There is no ceremony, just a few dedicated scientists watching a line of data on a screen. They are saying goodbye to an old friend, a part of the spacecraft that revealed so much about our universe. One by one, Voyager's senses are turned off, the cosmic ray subsystem, the plasma spectrometer. Each had a purpose, a question to answer, measuring the particles and fields of deep space. With each shutdown, our view of the interstellar medium grows dimmer, a window to the universe closes. It's deeply emotional for those involved. They've spent decades listening to these instruments. They are the last generation of Voyager's keepers. Imagine the silence in the control room as the final data packet arrives, a mix of pride and sorrow. These are not just machines, they are extensions of our curiosity. When one goes silent, a part of our exploration ends. It's a reminder of the finite nature of all things, even our most ambitious creations. We build these machines, send them on impossible journeys, and then, we must let them go. The loss is not absolute. The data will be studied for generations. The discoveries have rewritten our textbooks. The farewells are sad but also a celebration, a final salute to a mission that exceeded all expectations. Voyager's legacy is secure. Its journey changed us. The last goodbyes echo across the stars. In the fall of 2024, Voyager 1 went silent. For months, it sent back garbled, nonsensical data. The engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory were baffled. The spacecraft was still alive, still receiving commands, but it could no longer tell its story. The link to interstellar space seemed broken. The team refused to give up. They began a painstaking process of remote diagnosis, like surgery from 15 billion miles away. They narrowed the problem to a tiny piece of corrupted memory, a single flipped bit. The solution, a stroke of genius. They couldn't fix the chip so they worked around it, slicing up the code and storing it in unused pockets of memory. It required rewriting the spacecraft's software from billions of miles away. After months of work, they sent the final patch and waited. Then, in the spring of 2025, a miracle. 
a clear, coherent signal arrived. Voyager 1 was speaking again, sending back usable science data from interstellar space. The team at JPL had resurrected a 50-year-old spacecraft on the edge of the solar system. It was a powerful demonstration of human persistence, a refusal to let our connection to the stars be broken. Voyager's voice returned from the silence, we will listen, for as long as we possibly can. The story continues. Attached to Voyager 1 is a message, a time capsule from Earth to any civilization that might find it. The Golden Record, a phonograph made of gold-plated copper, telling the story of our world in sounds and images. It is our introduction to the cosmos, a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. The contents were chosen by a committee led by Carl Sagan, 115 images, sounds of our planet, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. Greetings in 55 languages, each a simple, hopeful message. Hello from the children of planet Earth. The chances it will ever be found are infinitesimal. Voyager will wander the galaxy for billions of years. But the golden record was as much a message to ourselves as to aliens. It forced us to ask, what is the best of us? What is worth preserving? The record is a symbol of our highest aspirations, our desire to connect, to be understood, to be part of a larger cosmic community. It is a monument to our optimism. Even as Voyager's mission ends, the record continues its journey. It carries our story, our music, and our hope silently into the endless night, a legacy that will outlast us all. The golden record is humanity's greeting to the universe, it is a testament to our curiosity and hope. Voyager's message will drift on long after we are gone, our story cast into the stars. The mission of Voyager 1 is coming to an end. Soon, its power will fade, its last instrument will fall silent, and its final whisper will be lost in the cosmos. But Voyager's legacy will endure, not written in books, but in starlight, across the solar system and beyond. It changed our understanding of our place in the universe. It showed us Jupiter's storms, Saturn's rings, and the pale blue dot, a humbling view of Earth from 4 billion miles away. Voyager reminded us of our fragility and preciousness. Its greatest legacy is inspiration, a symbol of the human spirit, our relentless curiosity, our courage to venture into the unknown. It represents the best of us, a species that looks up and goes. Voyager's story is one of ingenuity, persistence, and a team that refused to give up. The spacecraft will continue its journey for millions of years, a silent ambassador from a long-lost world. It is a testament to the idea that even a small, fragile species can reach for eternity. Voyager's journey is our journey, a story of exploration, resilience, and hope. Its light may fade, but its journey has just begun. The stars remember, our voice, our story, matters. Voyager sails on, forever written in starlight, the legacy endures.